Happy birthday, Maddie. Happy birthday, Maddie. Happy birthday, Maddie. Uh, Mateos, old sport, my guy. Okay. First off, happy birthday, Maddie. Love you. Happy birthday, Maddie. Yo, 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 you know what it is. You know who it is, my boy. Yeah, boy. Yes, sir. Hey, man, happy birthday. You know what I'm saying? Libra gang. We Libra gang, and nobody better than us. First and foremost, happy birthday, Maddie. I wish I could be there to celebrate with you, but I'm still in Albuquerque, New Mexico for work. Um, so we're gonna have to do it when I get back. My brother, happy birthday, love you. I hope this year is amazing for you and this whole new decade brings life and promise like you've never seen before. Love you. What's something you think nobody knows about Maddie? So something <laughs> that you might not know about Maddie is Maddie actually knows how to roller skate and he is quite good at it. Yep. One thing I don't believe anyone knows about Maddie is he is an iPad kid. If you do know what that means, you, you, you can see it. You can see it. One thing that a lot of people probably would never know about Maddie is he's got 11 toes. I'm joking. <laughs> um, no, he actually has um, something like a beautiful mind um, when it comes to like dates and things, especially as they relate to film, the cinema, stuff like that. He give him your, your birth year and he could probably tell you, you know, all the nominees for best movie of that year and, and probably give you the winner. Um, it's, it's pretty phenomenal. It's like, uh, it's like Rain Man, but, uh, but not. Something I think nobody knows about Maddie is how funny he is, but not with his jokes. Like sometimes his jokes aren't that funny, but um, like with his little mannerisms, like the little faces he makes, or like little, like the way he stands, like not to be funny, but I think like in the little things, it's just like, he makes me laugh just with like little things. His music sounds like in like an action movie when the main character has to like work and there's like music going on, but that's his music taste. For real? I think something that nobody knows about Maddie is he cannot swim for his life. If there was a tsunami to hit right now, over his raps. Yeah, sorry, Maddie, but his raps. The one thing that nobody probably knows about Maddie is that he actually has a computer chip. It's not a brain, it's a computer chip. He remembers everything and anything, things that it, even before he was born. Uh, yeah, he remembers everything. But something you guys don't know about Maddie, a select few do, but he's secretly in love with me. Yeah. There's this saying on the streets, Bernie's Maddie's drink. Google it. Um, one thing I think no one knows about Mati is that he's actually a bully. And with me, I don't know if you want to put this in, but Maddie does cuss. A lot of people don't hear it, but... He's got a potty mouth. <laughs> what is your greatest memory with Maddie? I mean, our favorite memory with Maddie. We have so many from dinner nights to game nights, going out to dinner, just hanging out. Um, but I mean, obviously, I think our wedding has to be our favorite memory when you oh, officiated sure. our wedding. So we love you, Maddie. We hope your 30 is the best one yet. Yeah. There was a night like maybe two or three months ago, and it was like the day before his. 15 year anniversary of being in America. But basically, he just dropped a bunch of lore on me. I mean, I asked, but like, I got like a ton of like zero to 10 year old Maddie lore. It was super cool. We were just in the line for In and Out forever. And it just felt like a very classic Maddie Mitchell moment. So, one of my greatest memories of Maddie is a time that we. He and his beautiful wife, Jenny, and myself and Jonathan went out and um, we were in Long Beach and we were like going from one place to another, like maybe dinner to the Queen Mary or something like that. We decided to scooter and, and there we were just scootering through Long Beach. The sun was setting, it was beautiful, perfect weather. And it was just, it, the memory just sticks out to me. My favorite memory with Maddie is one time, um, the soda fountain was closing 
it was um, him and Logan were working and I think Jenny took us and we got to be there when they like packed up everything and stacked all the chairs and it was just like lots of fun and yeah those are my favorite things happy birthday love you probably like the soda fountain when like with bubblegum lemonades and cl clown sundays you know and him bringing us cookies every day i feel like all of our memories are good like i can't even pick one like i feel like they're all good every time we hang out it's good vibes we have fun like you know, so I feel like I love every single memory we got, you know? But, uh, yeah. The one memory I have about Maddie uh, that comes to mind is... It's a lot of memories. It's a lot of things. It's not one specific thing. Um, but, let me see. Yeah, there's a lot of things. Uh, greatest memory thus far has to be just when we first started going to the bridge. Uh, I remember ever being, everyone being so friendly and nice and welcoming, but I just remember Maddie, Assistant Pastor Maddie, being so loving and being so present, and I could just feel the how genuine he is and how loving he is and how he welcomed us with open hands and um, I, yeah, it's just something we needed and, and we'll never forget. And this this short amount of time, you know, I've grown to love you and your wife, Jenny. Um, and, like family um and i look forward to many years of friendship and celebrating so um i hope you enjoy cheers and uh we'll see you soon and my greatest memory with my tea is when i was six years old and he taught me to crank that dance um by soldier boy <laughs> i don't know it's one of my favorites but and i'll give some context it was the first time he got drunk and the reason it was my favorite was because when I first met him, he was super deliberate on no drinking, no alcohol, just very straight edge. So much so that when we had like our friend group back in our like soda fountain days when I first met him, for his 21st birthday, when we took him out, we all got Shirley Temples. When my 21st birthday came, we're three years apart. He made an exception that day. We were with my family and we were in San Diego having super fancy cocktails and it was supposed to be like a wine tasting thing, but the dude that was doing the wine tasting also was like a mixologist so he ended up making some like this really fancy caffeinated espresso drink and maddie likes coffee flavored things and uh it got him it got him pretty good that day and it was just really funny seeing him drunk for the first time so i think that has to be one of my favorite memories what's one piece of advice you want to give maddie i think He's doing a lot of good, but he is also just doing a lot, and I think it would just be good for him to slow down and breathe a little bit more, leave himself a little bit more room to breathe. You know what I'm saying? Stay killing it, stay, you know, keep doing what you're doing, and yeah, man, I love you, and happy birthday. Get some rest, because you are everywhere, at any time, doing everything we are you either need to clone yourself or just take a break. I believe he is very intelligent, um, super capable, and has the potential to be the most successful person um, in his environment. I don't think it'll take much for him to get there, but I do think he just has to believe that he's enough and that he's got this. So, yeah. <laughs>